Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean from Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. This is a, a re-record of a video because uh, my audio was was crap. It was a little too low. Words were falling off. So a big thank you to Biden's Taint, a uh, YouTube viewer that let me know what the last child rapist video uh, audio was a little off. This this video the same problem so i figured i would just re-record that so biden's taint thank you you're a bro like subscribe share help me grow this channel on uh, youtube on on x because sometimes i say funny things on uh, on on twitter um but most importantly on rumble at third railify at rumble because i'm not long for this youtube world uh the video that you are watching now is deemed harmful content it is deemed hate content um i'm just covering the news but they don't seem to care all right now the story huh. major update in the case of a glamorous married lunch lady 33 accused of sexually abusing a teenage boy now of course sexually abusing a teenage boy is a uh, flowery newspaper language for child rape but that's pretty much that's, that's what it is now it's it's funny when it's like a glamorous lunch lady because i grew up in mennonite country and my lunch lady was shaped like a bowling ball pretty pretty classic bowling ball looking woman may or may not have had a beard um not a not like a trans beard. This was this was before that. This was just it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. Anyways, with a thing in her hair, and she'd scoop French fries into your little in, in your little plate, and then yeah, not something anyone would want to put their fourteen year old penis into. So it's just funny. It was glamorous lunch lady. So a glamorous lunch lady has pleaded guilty to sexually abusing 14-year-old uh, student from her former Connecticut school after grooming him via text um, for months. And the, the major update that this uh, story alludes to is a plea agreement. Because prosecutors are political animals and they will always want a plea. So they can get that conviction rate as close to 100% as possible. Even though they had this woman dead to rights. They, they had her all starfished and whatever. She was, she was jerking off on camera is what she was doing. And sending it to, to this, little, this, 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 this little boy. I say, I say little boy, but he's 14. I, you're still a baby, in my opinion, at 14. Andy Rosefort, 33, has signed a uh, plea agreement and admitted to uh, second-degree sexual assault and impairing the moral of children at a hearing at Danbury State Court on August 8th. She had also been accused of sending nude photographs and uh, videos to the victim via Snapchat over a six-month period. Now, just like the uh, video I had just done about the Australian uh, teacher, or like any of the, God, the, it's got to be like 20 other videos I've done about teachers raping their students. It, it's, it's often, it starts with Snapchat, specifically Snapchat. I don't, I've never used Snapchat. I don't know what, what this app really does, but <laughs> the teachers slide into the Snapchat. And then before you know it, you're banging them in the back of their car. It's crazy to me. So parents, uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe ask your kids who are they who they're talking to on, on Snapchat. The new Fairfield Police Department began investigating after receiving information on January 17th that inappropriate behavior had occurred between Rosa Fort and the teenager. Here she is right now on screen doing lunch lady stuff. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's some kid out there that's going to look at that and go, hmm. She, when she gives me my french fries, I want to give her my wiener or, or something like that. I don't know. I've been married a long time. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to flirt. 
According to the affidavit, Rosa Fort had been communicating with the victim for six months through various social media platforms, including Instagram and Snapchat. At one point, the victim received a message from Rosa Fort asking, you want to see something? Before sending him a nude photo. I mean, I guess she was driving this situation to be a sexual situation considering she sent him the unsolicited nudes. When the boy replied asking if she had possibly sent the picture by mistake, she doubled down. She was like, oh, buddy, I'll show you how much of a not mistake this is. And she sent him a second unsolicited nude selfie. Among the sects, the woman also sent videos of her masturbating to him over the course of several months. Now, I can I can tell you as a as a grown man and a horn dog, I mean the the thought of a woman a legal aged woman of course, uh doing that, wanting to send you nude photos or uh you know, spicy vids or whatever is is wonderful. It's wonderful. After you've been married for a while that fades away into nothing and and you and you look back fondly over those times and go oh my goodness but it gets lost because we analyze these videos from a grown up perspective of of maybe you've been married for 7 years like myself and and you don't get the sexy pictures anymore or maybe you're you're just a grown up that you you haven't been lucky in love or Whatever the case may be, at ten thousand different situations, but we're looking at it from from our perspective, not the 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 perspective of a fourteen year old boy who has has a has a teacher. I mean, in in my in in my case, it might not be the same for you, but our lunch lady was uh was a teacher. She it was it was like some culinary education or whatever that ran the lunch program so she was a teacher but if you didn't take that class all you knew her as was the lunch lady a bowling ball shaped woman but yeah so anyways you have a 14 year old student you know uh, who has a teacher with a position of trust and authority over you maybe you know you like the flirting but then all of a sudden it gets a little you know intense and, and then you feel like you have to reciprocate because you know, well, what if I get it? What if somehow they get me in trouble if I don't? It's 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 that weird same power imbalance, right? You even have women, modern day women in the in the corporate world, where you know there's a power imbalance, and their boss, you know, starts to get flirty, and they're like, well, you know, if I if I didn't suck his dick, I wasn't gonna get promoted, or I thought I was gonna be fired, or you know, something I would be left out, or you know, whatever the case, right? If that can happen to a grown woman in corporate America, it can most certainly happen to a 14-year-old boy. Hopefully, that made sense. Furthermore, the victim reported that Rosefort attended his sports games and sent him videos of him playing, which, that, ha, that sounds a little stalkery, doesn't it? Being like, look at this video of you playing. I was there. I was watching you, and I recorded you. You're like, lady, I mean, yeah, we... You know, we we hook up, but like, what are you what are you doing? Kind, it's kind of creepy. It's, it's a little weird. I hate like I I hate that I think like this, and and again, it's because I'm I'm an old man now. I'm an old horn dog. I look at this. I'm like, yeah, she's pretty. She's not bad. And we should not think like that. I mean, yes, yeah, she is pretty, but we should not think like that. A child was getting raped. I don't think there's too many women out there, and I could be wrong. If I am wrong, you let me know. That you know, if there was like a if there was like a 35 year old man who like raped like a 14 year old girl, and his mugshot is out there, I don't think there's too many women that look at him and go, "Yeah, but he's hot though." Even if he's like smoldering or whatever. On the day of the incident, the teen had been at a party and told his friends that he had to leave because he needed to see his family. His friends felt that something was off and that he left in the middle of the vent. When he returned, his friends felt as though the boy was acting strange. It was then 
that he had allegedly revealed what happened between him and the dinner lady. That he left the party to have sex with a woman. I mean, he could have been acting strange because his balls were empty. I mean, usually at that point, you know, dudes are like, oh my God, I just, I'm on top of the world. It's cloud nine. But, you know, if you are maybe like forced into it, maybe you're, you know, you have some guilt. Maybe you have some shame. Maybe you have some terrible feelings. Details from the arrest warrant show how the victim had sexual intercourse in the vehicle, but he had ended the encounter because he began to feel weird about it. The boy told his parents two days after, saying he felt very weird and guilty about what happened. Officials were also able to find evidence that showed the victim in Rosa Fort in the same location when the alleged sexual assault occurred. When the allegations came to light, Rosa Fort resigned from her part-time position at the school, previously having been warned to watch her interactions with minors. So this is something that she probably had done before. If not outright sleeping with them, raping them, whatever. Um, definitely flirting or being chatty or, you know, all the, all the exact precise things that we don't want grown-ups to do with our, our kids. After an arrest warrant was issued in her name, she turned herself in and posted a $100,000 bond. So I guess she managed to uh, put up the $10,000. Rosa Fort was later released on condition. She um, was to have no contact with any minors other than her own children. She is no longer allowed on social media. Connecticut Superior Court's clerk office has yet to clarify the terms of the abuser's plea deal. The rapist's plea deal. So again, like all of these videos, it amazes me that there's like a husband and there's kids and there's a career and there's all the stuff and they just, I don't know, for some reason, a child. Like, like I, what is it? I don't I don't understand because when you think about when you think about what a child is I mean there's there's no like handsome features they look like children like when you're looking at a 14-year-old boy they're skinny they're straggly they, I mean there's I mean there's no handsome beard or anything like this there's no deep voice I mean they have no freaking money so I mean hypergamy is sort of out of the window there's there's not there's nothing that a that that a, that a woman would really want i i don't i don't get it i mean they're 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 inexperienced they don't have big dicks or anything Every, everything about it is wrong even on the sexual uh, marketplace value they have nothing they're at the bottom it makes no sense to me why these women throw their entire lives away like it's it's crazy to me. Even e even the men that that look at like the you know the the twelve, thirteen, fourteen year old girls, and you're like, no, there's 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 still nothing there. Like, what are you doing? Crazy to me. Anyway, so so that is that is this a glamorous lunch lady. I've never heard glamorous on lunch lady put together before, so that's a little bit weird. But she's uh, she's thrown away her kids. Her husband, her her future, so she can um, rape a fourteen year old student. It's wild to me. It's wild to me. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video, and shout out to Biden's taint for letting me know that uh, words were falling off. My my gain was too low, so thank you for that. And uh, I don't know. I'll see see you guys in in the next video. Peace. Peace.